Welcome to the first episode of Three Sheets to the Blighted Wind. My name is Sean and I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful blue objective counter. I started the project with a 65 millimeter plastic disc which I put a hill of toilet paper mache uh, mix of toilet paper, water, and glue and five nice stones that I collected from outside. In the center of the toilet paper mache pile I pushed down the mache and made a hole. You'll see why in the next picture. Alright, next I took a paper clip, one of the larger ones, without the plastic wrapped around it. I turned it into a curly cue with a loop at the bottom. I next took more toilet paper mache, made a nice cloud effect going up around the paper clip, and then took three pinches of toilet paper mache and put those onto the rocks. I used toothpicks to carve in some detail, then found four plastic skulls which I put in varying areas into the toilet paper mache. After the paper mache was dry, I used a mix of my own primer and covered the entire model with a mix of white. After that was dry, I painted the rocks black. Next I covered the black stones in a layer of gray highlights and dry brushes from dark gray to a white dusting to help represent snow that will later go onto the base. Next I covered the flames in a light blue and dry brushed some more white on the rocks to help the snow effects that will later go on show up better. Next a wash of dark blue went all over the flames then on the base of the flames went a darker wash of blue. And at this time while that was drying I went ahead and put a coat of brown on the base that was flocked. After the washes were dry I added a dry brush of the original light blue color followed by a dry brush of white on the flames and I added a antique white color to the brown to make it look like a frosted earth. Also, the skulls I added earlier are really showing up well now. After all the paint was dry, I created a mix of snow using baking soda and put it liberally around the base, around the flames, and the flames on the stones. This project is now just about done. And here again is the finished project. I started this with my new Legion of Everblight army in mind. I kind of like the whole uh, blighted uh, flame idea. And to continue with this idea, I made myself some fury tokens. This project works pretty much like the objective counter, except on a much smaller scale. Each base is a one cent penny. On it, I put a drop of glue along with a small amount of toilet paper mache. Use some toothpicks, you sculpt that into a small flame, like I did on the stones. And in about three minutes, I had six tokens all ready to set off to the side to be dried. That in all took one sheet of toilet paper mache. And in about ten minutes, I had 18 of these counters ready to set off to be dried. After a while, the mache was dry, and I put some stones and kitty litter on the base. This itself took about another five to eight minutes. After that was dry, I added some of my white primer mix, and that was dry, and next I put a nice coat of the same light blue that was on the project on the flame. I'll go ahead and show you the end project here with the Fury tokens. I went ahead and painted them with the washes and dry brushing that I did with the objective marker, put on some grays on the base to make them look all nice stony and uh, snow snowed on and beside that are my new shredders that I fully painted while these two projects were drying. Alright here's a nice close-up of the fury tokens, the objective markers, and my shredders. I'd like to thank you for watching this video from Tabletop Gamers and at the end after this we will be putting on the uh, paints and tools needed to make these objective markers and tokens. Thank you, my name is Sean, and thank you for watching Three Sheets Blighted Wind.